Okay, you know, we are in India, Kerala. See the like the beautiful palm trees behind me. See that nice lady out there. I don't know what she's doing, but she's walking outside. So we're in India, Kerala. God's land. Look at that massive house behind me. You said India's not packing weight. You said India's poor and just slums. Lied to you, man. You guys being fooled by watching too much TV. You need to start looking at my YouTube channel. Anyway, got another beautiful house here. There's bear of them. So I'm gonna walk down this way. So yeah, today I did a tea plantation. Um, I did a spice tour. Wasn't as good as like I wanted it to be because obviously it's monsoon. So for you that don't know what monsoon is, monsoon is just like the rainy season. But over here, guys, you'll see in nature here that you will probably never ever see in your life if you don't come over here. Like it's just green everywhere. It's actually insanity. I will show you better views tomorrow though, but I'll show you where I'm walking. Yeah, today's been a decent day. Show you where I'm walking, got my laundry, got everything sorted. I'm just walking into like a local community now. Hopefully they're not like, what are you doing here? But yeah, let me go down here. Guys, so we're continuing. Wow. There's just plants and stuff everywhere. You got like jackfruit, you got <sighs> coconuts on palm trees, you got papaya, you got cocoa, and yeah, everything is here. Oh. Who said India's not packing the weight? They lied to y'all. I'm telling y'all. Oh, damn. Hands are in the way. But whoever said India's not packing the weight, lied to you. I want to come up here though, just to see. These are like all gated communities. What's that? Mud? Or oh, the construction? Hello? You do construction work? Sorry? Ah, yes. Sir. Oh, construction work. Okay. Yes. What's this way? This way, there is a small village. I can go? Ah, not, not main road. I can't go? No. Uh, okay. I, one kilometer you can go. One kilometer I can go? Yes. Okay, so I walk up that way and come back? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, namaste. You okay? Hello. Hello, namaste. Hi. Hello, you okay? Yeah, fine. Where are you from? You're from Kerala? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how do I say hello in Kerala? Is it namaste? Yes. It's namaste? Okay, okay, thank you. Where are you from? London, UK. Hey. What are you doing? So, we are just uh, doing this water supply. Okay. Water Water supply? Yeah. Okay, seems good. Yeah. I never seen this before. So they're doing a water supply guys, so I am seeing how this is done. This is real Indian village life. Oh so you go up the tree? Sorry. 
Yeah, so you lot, Kerala is so beautiful. And you hear a dog by me. But Kerala is known for like, it's richness in commodities. So you've got cocoa, you've got papaya, you've got jackfruits, which I'm staring at right now. There's, they're everywhere. You've got cocoa, jackfruits, papaya. <laughs> you've got, you there looking at me. Um, you've got cashew nuts. Um, you've got coconuts. And it's just, there's so many commodities. I wouldn't be able to name them all, you guys, but there's so many of them. And that's why the Portuguese came here and invaded like the south of India, if I'm correct, in, I'm not sure what century it was, but I'm 100% I'm sure that the Portuguese were the first to invade India, like before the British came. This was way back. I know they invaded Goa because Goa's got sea. So they came like, it's got sea, ocean. So they came over the ocean and yeah. They basically exported, or yeah, they exported all of like the re resources, commodities, and goods to Europe, innit? it? And that's how like Portuguese were able, the Portuguese were able to sustain economic growth. So you know, wow. I don't think I can come here. Oh, no. So guys, you have like a Christian church <laughs> in the middle of Kerala, like a Christian church. So you can see that like Christianity. So one thing I've like learned here is that like Christianity is really heavily influenced here. Wait, we'll wait till the noise goes down a bit. Ah! But yeah, you guys, Christianity... Christianity is really heavily influenced here, which I had no idea about. And I can't... But look at the big boyards. This is India. Look at that fat boy whipping the thing. Hi. Hello. You okay? <laughs> okay. Got a rickshaw there. Or a tuk tuk, whatever you want to call it. Look at this palace. All the houses here are just big. I haven't seen one slum in Kerala. So it goes to show you that people have got to be more a wide, a right, a wide. People have got to think wider with their thinking. Like you cannot just watch. Cause I'm not, I'll be real with you. I used to think India was just slums, ghettos, gutters, sewage systems. Like that, that's what I thought until I came here. And now I've come here, boy, I, I'm sure you can tell, but I'm thinking a whole lot different. Like now I'm out here. Flower garden. You've got like, like a nice flower garden here. But like I said to you, look, everything here is just greenery, isn't it? Like you're not gonna catch nothing else out here. You get all the pen yards. Look. <laughs> These gated communities are making me like, wow. Boy, I need to get my money up. Boy! What's this? A garage? A garage. I think I forgot to tell you that bananas grow here too. There's bananas everywhere here, so.
this one. Yeah. So you lot have just been given chicken, barbecue chicken and biryani. So I'm gonna unwrap this and see what it looks like inside the leaf. Cause this is like, oh wow, this looks good. This looks good. Damn, damn, I got my hand in the way, but this looks good guys. I think I have to eat it with my hands though, so. Okay, you lot, this is the beauty of India that they don't show us. Look at that. Whoa, look at the sky. Absolutely beautiful. What's up? <laughs> I met Nizam in the north of India, in Manali. Look at the video, man, there. In Manali. And then I came to his hometown, Kerala. Um, Muna Muna's where he's staying to study in college. Yeah. But he lives... Where, where do you live originally? Trishur, Trishur. To the shore, and that's in the north of Kerala, right? Kerala, yeah. North of Kerala. But he studies here at the moment, so... Came to visit him. I met him in the north of India, in Manali. Imagine and that. Now this is the south of India. And, and now this is the south of India. <laughs> Lots of fog. You can't see a thing because I came in the monsoon. But I'm still enjoying it. We went to like a tea. We went to a tea museum, right? Yeah, tea factory. It's tea factory. We went to a tea factory museum. It was pretty good. Good experience. Ooh. And yeah, <laughs> pretty cold. I'm soaked and drenched in rain because monsoon doesn't give up. But as you can see, you can't see nothing here, but like, if you could see what I could see, like earlier, the, 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 the scenery is beautiful, but it's just so much rain to a point that you guys, I, I, I would end up blowing up my phone, so unfortunately, rickshaw, rickshaw, oh, no, someone's inside, right? Yeah, but yeah, my phone will blow up because I don't, I don't have a GoPro anymore, so since it broke, in the, it, that probably would have broke out here anyway considering you know what i mean but yeah we're gonna go and grab some food anyway um yeah i started the vlog a bit late today didn't um say what's up and hello to you guys so i hope all you guys are doing good but yeah uh, yeah we're gonna head up to the um to a restaurant try some color food yeah and i'll let you guys know what it's tasting like okay guys we are in Muna town Looks pretty cool, looks pretty good. Hello, how are you? You okay? How are you? How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Yeah, so we're in Muna Town. Got some nice shops here, nice appliances. You've got phone shops, you've got cashmere wear, of course. And then you've got a whole heap of tuk tuks. I mean, rickshaws, to be correct. <laughs> I told Nizram, Nizram, I told Nizram um, tuk tuk. He was like, what on earth is a tuk tuk? So you got to keep it as a rickshaw over here. But there's loads of them over here. This is like Rickshaw City. You go up that way? Okay, let's go. So, the quest continues in Nuna. It's very busy here. Um, oh, we come here? Oh, not raining. Okay. Woo! Very busy. Oh damn, very busy. This is the south side of India. Hello, how are you? You okay? What up? What up? <laughs> you got sweet shots. Okay. Oh, what's down this way? Oh, we go this way? We'll go to my hostel. Okay, nice. So, going to Nizram's hostel. See what it's like. How many people do you live with? How many people in your hostel do you live with? Uh, actually, in my room there's a total of six. Couple of people? Yeah, six people. Okay, okay, nice. Let's see this one. What's this one? That's Bonda. Bola. Bonda. Bonda. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bonda. And you got like some nice bananas. That's banana, right? Yeah, Oh, this is where we came earlier, right? Yeah. Hello again. Hello, you okay? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. You find me parking, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, we walk this way? Okay. Rickshaw City. How could you even call this a city? Rickshaw City. <laughs> like there's so many rickshaws. But this is not a city. This is a town, right? But it is the nearest to city. Explain to them like what Muna is. Muna is awesome, I mean. But not this time of the year. Not this time of the year. If it comes in like between, but say uh, January to March. January to March. So you hit it. Best time. So guys, January to March is the best time to come to Muna. October to March. It's okay. October to March. Okay. Okay, guys, we are in Muna. On the tea plantation top, but unfortunately, so much fog because I came at the wrong season. But it's still good. It's still good. You can't see as much, but it's still beautiful. Oh, the, the fog is clearing. Oh, it's clearing, right? Yeah. Not well for the camera to see, but it's still clearing. Got some beautiful tea plantations up here. Look at that, guys. Look at the beauty of that. Rickshaw. <laughs> Rickshaws everywhere, right? 
the tea plantations up here. Amazing, man. Tea plantations here too. <laughs> Beeping at us. Woo. Yeah, you don't never come to Kerala. From June, well from May to, well no, from June to August. You're just gonna experience hell. <laughs> this is just rain, 24 seven. So that would be my advice to you. And I've got my good friend Israel taking me down. So nice of him. He basically used his friend's moped in the hostel, so came very in handy. What on earth is that? So we go to church. Is that a church? Okay, nice. Look at that house. Oh, that's a hotel, right? That's a resort. Yeah, you know, some good experience. Say yo! Oh. We are out here in Kerala, Luna. Don't get any better than this. I don't care if it's one soon though. I'm crazy. I don't give a damn, you know what I mean? But I do, because I didn't really get to experience it proper, but definitely going to come at the end of the year. I tried to come in December. What have you got to say for them? Huh? What up? That's, that's my good friend, Nizam. I met him in Manali, which is in like the north of India. And then he lives in Kerala. So he originated from Kerala, born in Kerala, south of India. Really bonded with him. I went on a hike with him in Manali, really friendly guy. He then drove me like basically back to my hotel in Manali and then I stayed in contact with him and yeah I came back out here to see him, see how he was and yeah, really good guy. People out here super friendly, super hospitable in Kerala. Like everybody here really has got each other's back and that's what I love about Indian culture. And that's why I've been out here for such a long time because like where I'm from, like the co I love the culture where I'm from because I grew up in the UK and it's where I'm from and it's where I've spent my whole life. But the culture's not the same, like people don't really have each other's back as much as people have each other's back here. So it just makes over here so good. So yeah. But yeah guys, I'm getting to the town seat, the town centre, they drove me to the town centre to get a ritual back home and yeah here we are here we are guys so we've made it back to the town center made it back to the town center here we are guys back to the town center Back like we never left. This was quick. Yeah. You know your is this your guy here? Uh, no, oh, damn. Yeah, you get off here. Yeah. Okay, cool.